Hello everyone. Question number two of exercise one point five is simplify each of the following by rationalizing the denominator. One, we say simplify. That actually means that we have to rationalize the denominator. So we need not to write this even. That simplify each of the following by rationalizing the denominator. Here we understand that if in case we want to rationalize the denominator, as in the first question I told you that x minus y has to be multiplied by x plus y, or if it is x plus y, then it has to be multiplied by x minus y because the formula goes like this, and squaring an irrational number with under root will become a rational number in itself. So this we can multiply by seven plus. 3 root 5 upon 7 plus 3 root 5, where 7 minus 3 root 5 is already in the denominator, so we are multiplying it by the conjugate. So it becomes 7 plus 3 root 5 whole square upon 7 into 7 will be 49 minus 3 into 3 that is 9, and root 5 whole square will be 5, so 9 into 5 is 45, which is if we solve this, it is 49 plus. 3 root 5 whole square will be 45 plus 2 xy that is 42 under root 5 upon this will be 4 and if in case we take something common this is actually uh, 94 plus 42 root 5 so if we take two common out of this so 94 will be 47 plus 21 root 5 upon 4 this can be cancelled out it is 2 so the correct answer is 47 plus 21 root 5 upon 2 if we look at the second question again we have to multiply this by the conjugate so it is 3 minus 2 root 2 upon 3 plus 2 root 2 which has to be multiplied by the conjugate of the denominator that is 3 minus 2 root 2 upon 3 minus 2 root we call the conjugate will make in the format of x square minus y square when we solve it is it, it is 3 minus 2 root 2 whole square upon again 3 into 3 is 9 minus 2 root 2 multiplied by 2 root 2 is 8 so this if we open the bracket here it is a x minus y whole square which is x square plus y square minus 2 xy that is 12 root 2 upon 1 If we can calculate this, this is 17 minus 12 under root 2. So this is the correct answer for second part. If we look at the third part again, because the procedure is same for rationalizing rationalizing the denominator, this has to be multiplied by 7 minus 2 root 14 upon 7 minus 2 under root 14. So this all will go like 5 minus 3 under root 14 has to be multiplied by 7 minus 2 under root 14. Upon the denominator will be 49 minus 2 into 2 is 4. 4 multiplied by 14 is 56. If we multiply the numerators, it is 5 into 7 that is 35 minus. Next is 10 under root 14. That is 5 multiplied by 2 root 14. Then minus this multiplied by this is 21 under root 14, and this multiplied by this is plus. 3 into 2 is 6. 6 multiplied by 14, that is 84, upon minus 7. So once we calculate this, 84 plus 34 comes out to be 118 minus 31 under root 14 upon 7. So this is the correct answer for part three. If we look at the question number three, where we have to simplify this. See, I already told you that we need not to write by the rationalizing the denominator because if I say simplify, it means we have to rationalize the denominator. So this will be seven root three into root ten minus root three upon this multiplied by root ten minus root three. Again, we apply x square minus y square, so it is ten minus three minus. Here it is two root five multiplied by. Root six minus root five. This is the conjugate of root six plus root five. Upon in the denominator it is six minus five minus. It is three root two multiplied by fifteen plus. It is minus three root two upon. Again, if we multiply it by the conjugate, it comes out to be fifteen minus three into three into two. That is eighteen. 
If we calculate it further, 10 minus 3 will be 7. This can be cancelled by this. So this will be under root of 30 minus 3. Root 3 multiplied by root 3 is equal to 3 minus. Here also the denominator is already 1. 6 minus 5 is 1. So we can directly multiply. It becomes 2 under root of 30. This negative sign multiplied by this negative as well becomes a positive sign. And 2 root 5 multiplied by root 5 is 10. Because 2 into root 5 square. So root 5 into root 5 is 5. 5 multiplied by 2 is 10. Minus. Here it, the denominator is minus 3. If we take the minus sign outside, it will become positive. And 3 can be cancelled by this 3. So the remaining term will become 15 under root 2 minus 3 into 2, that is 6. So this is very clear that how we have solved it. Out of this, root 30 and minus 2 root 30 can be written as minus of under root 30. Minus 3 plus 10 and minus 6 becomes plus 1. And this will be minus 15 under root 2. This cannot be broken up into two parts where I can write it in the form of under root 2. So this will remain as it is. And this will be the answer for question number 3. In the next class, we will talk about question number 4. If in case you have any problem, you can email us or contact us. Thank you.